in England, it's pretty simple. When the sun's out, anywhere is good for batting and you score runs. It's hard to take wickets. When it's overcast and it doesn't matter who you are, you can be medium pace, so you're going to take wickets. So it's, it, it is a matter of, you know, when you win the toss, you have a look and decide if it's sunny, then you have to bat and you have to score big runs because when the conditions turn against you, um, you know, you can lose quick wickets. It doesn't matter what stage of the game. Um, if the ball starts moving, then... You know, batsmen are going to be in trouble. So we need to cash in, and that's going to happen everywhere, even in Durham where it's cold and ugly and wet and you're freezing your backside off. Uh, you know, you have to grind it out and make sure... You know, you punish the opposition when you get in front because conditions can change. It's not like Australia where the, if the wicket's flat, the wicket's always going to be flat. Over there, the wicket can be flat, but if, if it becomes overcast, then it's, it's a bowler's day. Um, so anything idiosyncratic about either Old Trafford or the Oval? No, I mean, the Oval always been a spinning wicket. Uh, we made, a, we, we made a, a, a mistake there last time when we didn't pick a spinner, you know, in the last test. So now that we've got Agar and Lyon there, then we've got some artillery that, you know, will play into our hand come, you know, the final test. And um, we've got some options as well. And I think, I'm a fan of Nathan Lyon, but I think always a left-arm orthodox spinner is better in England because you get those foot marks outside the off stump to the left hander and always the right hander you're coming into the pads and the stumps. So it was a good selection definitely to pick Agar. Uh, I feel a little bit sorry for Nathan Lyon because when he went to you know India we underachieved and he only got had hundred and fifty or two hundred to bowl to. So it's very difficult as a spinner. You need, you know, at least three or three fifty, four hundred to get into your work and, you know, take four or five wickets. But uh yeah, he didn't get an opportunity but Ash Nagar came along and dominated and uh you know, it's given a whole new life to Victoria. It's brilliant. Everyone's talking about it and the young kid's gonna be a superstar.